T. Higgins from the Cincinnati Bengals has requested a trade due to contract negotiation failures. He wanted to stay his term, the rest of his contract, the rest of his career in Cincinnati, and they are not paying that man at all. Now, because of this, he has requested a trade, giving and letting teams out there know that he is available. He wants to go somewhere where they want to pay him, that they want to value him. And in this video, I'm going to tell you if or if not, he is going to the Atlanta Falcons in trade. Now, can we imagine this? Drake London, Darnell Mooney, and T. Higgins on the same team. Oh, and I can't forget, B. John Robinson and Kyle Pitts. Zach Robinson will not only have a field day, he will be the happiest person alive if that truly happened. Now, a lot of people are saying Atlanta could be a potential destination for T. Higgins, and I'm here to tell you, uh, it could happen. Mm, probably not, but there is a possibility because not only will he be pretty expensive, the Falcons will have to give up some draft capital that I'm not too necessarily sure they're trying to give up. So in regards to T. Higgins, experts say he'll probably demand around that 20 to $30 million range. And the Atlanta Falcons can do this. It'll be a little tight in the future and a little tight now. But if they cut a few players, restructure some deals, they can get upwards of $30 million in cap availability. So who knows if that will work? I'm not sure. And also, the amount of, of trade assets and draft assets they would have to give up, people are saying they would, you have to either get up a couple first-rounders or a first a first rounder and a, and a, and a fourth rounder or a th uh, second and third and fourth. It's just a lot of draft capital that you would have to give up. And that is the reason why I don't believe they're going to trade for T Higgins. I think that they're okay with using that talent that they have now and taking a chance in the draft at either the eighth pick and selecting Malik neighbors or Rome. I don't know how to say his last name. So I'm going to just say Rome Oh, out of Washington or I can see them moving back, getting more another second round pick, and kind of retooling that way, maybe getting a receiver there. Also, there is a looming bird out there that's with Calvin Ridley. If he signs with the Jacksonville Jaguars before a current date, I think the Atlanta Falcons pick converts into a second round pick, but I don't foresee that happening because Jacksonville knows that has to happen by a certain time. And if they're going to if they want to re-sign Ridley, they'll probably just re-sign him after that date. So all this to say, will I want this happen? Will I want this to happen with T. Higgins? A thousand percent. Could it happen with T. Higgins? A thousand percent. Will it happen with T. Higgins? Probably not. I just don't know if the, the Atlanta Falcons want to max everything out at this point. They said they were going to get aggressive. They made an aggressive splash for Kirk Cousins. They made an aggressive splash for Darnell Mooney. I think they're just going to take their time, see what they want to have in the draft, and see if it goes from there. And so for that reason, I don't think they're going to be that aggressive with T. Higgins. Now, if, his, if he continues to stay out here and his trade value falls, which I don't believe it will, then they might think about it. But just from a cap perspective going forward in the future, I don't I don't think they want to tie themselves down to Higgins right now. And I think they want to save a little bit cap space going into next year just in case something happens. So, But if you enjoyed this video, please do me a favor. Hit the thumbs up, subscribe, and turn on post notifications. And if you want to see more content like this, check this video out right here. And like always, peace.